Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about third chapter of our grade ten syllabus, which is a pair of linear equations in two variables. In grade nine, we already discussed about a pair of linear equations, but there we learnt how to plot the points on the graph sheet as well as how many minimum number of points are required to draw a line, and moreover. what kind of lines are said to be parallel lines intersecting lines and moreover um what is the position of a straight line on the graph sheet okay so in our grade 10 we will discuss about a pair of linear equations and moreover what are methods of solving pair of linear equations and how to represent pair of linear equations on the graph sheet and also what do you call pair of linear equations when the solution exist and solution does not exist okay right firstly we will discuss about what is a linear equation in one variable two variables three variables and all for example x plus 3 is equal to 5 this is called A linear equation in only one variable. X plus three is equal to five is a linear equation. Where if we want to find out the value of x, it is easily determined the value of x. That is, how much plus three is equal to five? How much plus three is equal to five? Two plus three is equal to five. Therefore, the value of x is going to be two. So, this linear equation in one variable. Has x is equal to two as its solution, and solutions are also called as roots. Okay, so x is equal to two is a root or solution of this linear equation. If I take one more linear equation, for example, three x plus seven is equal to ten. This is one linear equation. What is the solution, or what are the solutions for this linear equation? Means, what is the value of x basically? 3x plus 7 is equal to 10. How much plus 7 is equal to 10? 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So that this 3x is going to be 3. Also, 3 into x is equal to 3. 3 into how much is equal to 3? 3 into 1 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to 1 is the only solution for this linear equation in one variable. So here I can understand one thing that. whatever the linear equation that you consider it has only one solution right coming to linear equation in two variables x plus y is equal to some 5 x plus y is equal to 5 then i just want to know what are the solutions of x plus y is equal to 5 or what are the possible values of x and y Which satisfies this equation x plus y is equal to five. If I take x is equal to zero, zero plus how much is equal to five? Zero plus five is equal to five. So zero comma five is one solution of this linear equation. And for example, if I take x is equal to one, one plus how much is equal to five? Of course, one plus four is equal to five. This is one more solution of this linear equation. Like that, if I take x is equal to five, then what is the value of y? Y is equal to zero. So five comma zero is also one of the solutions. If I take x is equal to minus three, then minus three plus y is equal to five. Then y is equal to five plus three is equal to eight. So that minus three comma eight is also one of the solutions. Like that, how many number of solutions are there for this x plus y is equal to five? there are infinitely many number of solutions are there for any linear equation in two variables whereas a linear equation in one variable has only one solution got my point so minus 3 comma 8 0 comma 5 1 comma 4 5 comma 0 these are all different different solutions of a linear equation in two variables so if i take a linear equation in three variables x plus 2y plus z is equal to some six. What are the solutions of this equation? 
to identify the solutions of this particular equation, I just should give various values of either x and z or y and z or x and y. I should give definitely two values. Okay? For example, I am giving x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. So, 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 plus how much is equal to 6? Obviously, 6. So, 0 comma 0 comma 6 is one of the solutions for x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Like that, if I put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, then what is the value of z? 1 plus 0 plus how much is equal to 6? 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Therefore, 1 comma 0 comma 5 is also one more solution. Like that, how many number of solutions are there? There are again infinitely many number of solutions are there for a linear equation in three variables. Not only for three variables, for two variables also. It means there is only one solution for a linear equation in one variable. But if it is a linear equation in more than one variable, then it has infinitely many number of solutions. So, this is according to the values of the variables when you substitute, if those values of the variables satisfies the equation, then those values of the variables are said to be the solutions. But in grade 9, we discussed about the graphical representation of a linear equation. So, every linear equation represents a straight line. For example, I am going to take one straight line here. That straight line is x plus y is equal to 5. We know that this is a linear equation in two variables. And every linear equation in one variable or two variables or three variables, whatever it is, represents a straight line. Suppose, if you want to draw this straight line on the graph sheet, you are aware of that. You will have to find out two points on this line. Two points on the line or more than two points are required. We will have to think about it. Is one point not enough to draw this line on the graph sheet? Before you draw one line on the graph sheet through this point, first of all, try to understand how many number of lines that can be drawn passing through this, through this only one point. This is one line passing through that only one point. This is one more line passing through that only one point. This is one more line. This is one more line. Like that, there are infinitely many number of lines that can be drawn passing through a single point in a plane. But if you have two points in a plane, this is one point and this is one more point. How many number of lines that can be drawn passing through these two points? Yes, there is exactly one line that can be drawn passing through these two points. So that if you want to draw a line, you need two points. Okay? If you want to find more than two points, that is obviously that your wish. right? But you need at least two points. right? After finding two points on the line, then you can draw a straight line. If you draw the straight line x plus y is equal to 5, then you can identify what is the position of the straight line on the graph sheet. It means whether it is intersecting both the coordinate axes, otherwise it is parallel to one of the coordinate axes or it obviously passes through the origin. right? So, x plus y is equal to 5. If I want to draw that line on the graph sheet, I need to find two points on the line. What are those two points called? Those two points on the line are called solutions of the linear equation. Okay? Suppose, if I put x is equal to 0 and then y is also is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 0, y is equal to how much? 0 plus how much is equal to 5? 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. So, 0 comma 5 is 1 point. And then, if I take x is equal to 1, then y is equal to? 4. So, 1 comma 4 is another point. Okay? Now, I will take y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 5. So, try to identify these kind of points. Right? So, 5 comma 0, 5 as x axis and 0 will be on y axis. So, that 5 comma 0 will be over here because on x axis y coordinate is going to be 0. So, this point is going to be 
फाइव कामा जीरो एंड जीरो कामा फाइव जीरो कामा फाइव वुड बी ऑन वाई एक्सिस सो दिस पॉइंट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो कामा फाइव एंड देन इफ यू जॉइन दोज टू पॉइंट्स एंड देन एक्सटेंड इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन इन डेफिनेटली सो देर इज ए लाइन फॉर्म्ड द नेम ऑफ द लाइन इज एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव x plus y is equal to five. See here, we need to understand one thing that zero comma five is said to be the solution of this linear equation, and moreover, zero comma five is said to be a point on the straight line. So, whatever you consider as a point on the straight line, that would be the solution of that linear e equation. Otherwise, whatever the solution of one particular linear equation that you are going to find, that would be a point on the straight line. So, points on the straight lines are nothing but the solutions of that linear equation. You will have to understand this. Okay, fine. Now I am going to explain you what is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables. So, two variables are nothing but x term should be there as well as y term should be there. and then if you draw that line on the graph sheet of course the line would be passing through x axis and y axis or positive x axis and positive y axis or parallel to any one of the coordinate axis or passing through origin so without actually drawing those lines see here x plus y is equal to 5 is given if i want to identify what is the position of this line on the graph sheet definitely i will have to find x is equal to some values and y are equal to some values and then i will have to plot them on the graph sheet accordingly i will have to join them by scale then i can understand yes this is the line intersecting x axis and y axis in two distinct points but i don't want to draw i don't want to find out all the points but i want to find out the position of the line on the graph sheet okay how is that possible let's have a look so what is the standard form of a quadratic equation the standard form of a quadratic sorry the standard form of a linear equation in two variables is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 okay ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 in this first case and moreover ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 when this represents a straight line x term should be there otherwise y term should be there otherwise both x and y term should be there without x and y terms if you have only constant it will not represent any equation of straight line right so ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 represents a straight line only when modulus of a plus modulus of b not equal to 0 means a and b are not simultaneously zeros okay when only a is equal to 0 b not equal to 0 obviously it represents a straight line otherwise when a is 0 and b is not equal to 0 then also it represents a straight line but a and b both are zeros then it will not represent a straight line okay that is the basic idea of every linear equation in two variables okay coming to the point here what happens when a is not equal to 0 and b is also not equal to 0 and c is also not equal to 0 means a is a non zero number b is a non zero number c is a non zero number then what is the position of the straight line on the graph sheet see this is y axis and this is x axis again this is y axis this is x axis again y axis x axis and one more uh, thing i am taking y axis and x axis if this three values are non zero numbers when a is not zero b is not zero c is not zero then the position of the line would be either intersecting x axis and y axis in two distinct points means positive x and positive y axis otherwise positive y axis and negative x axis otherwise both negative axis otherwise negative and uh, positive axis so when a is not equal to 0 b is not equal to 0 c is not equal to 0 then position of the straight line would be one of this okay means briefly the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 intersect x axis and y axis in two distinct points means two different points okay right this is only when a not equal to 0 b not equal to 0 c not equal to 0 okay now coming to the second condition 
that second condition is one of them is 0, one of them in the sense what either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Okay? So, the second condition is if the value of a is equal to 0, but b is not equal to 0, c also not equal to 0, then what will happen? Then if a is equal to 0, 0 into x is equal to 0 plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, by plus c is equal to 0, you can say that by is equal to negative c, then y is going to be negative c divided by b. So, the value of y is going to be negative c by b means y is equal to one constant. This is one number, right? One constant. Let the constant be something either 5 or minus 5, does not matter. So, the final equation is going to be y is equal to 5. Let us try to draw this y is equal to 5 on the graph sheet. How does it look like? Okay. So, this is 0, this is 1 and 2 and 3. For example, this is 1, 2, 3. So, y is equal to 5. How to find out the points on the line y is equal to 5? It is easy because whatever the value of x you consider, y is always 5. Okay. If I take x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. 0, 5, 5 will be here. For example, this is 4. So, 0, 5, 0, 5 would be this. And x is equal to 1, 1, 5, 1, 5 means this. And x is equal to 2, 2, 5. And x is equal to 3, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5 and so on. If you join all these points, then you can identify this is a straight line and more precisely, you can say that this is parallel to x axis, right? Since it is y is equal to 5, the position of the line towards this means on which is parallel to this x axis and moreover on positive side. And if you take k is equal to some negative 5, then the position of the line would be this. So, however, the line b y is equal to minus c and y is equal to minus c by b parallel to x axis. Okay? So, y is equal to any line, y is equal to k, any line which is in the form of y is equal to constant. Constant can be anything. Can it be 0? Of course, it can be 0. Why? Because y is equal to 0 is obviously the equation of x axis. right? So, y is equal to k is a line which is parallel to x axis and is at k units distance from x axis. Okay? So, that is about the position of the line ax plus b plus c is equal to 0 when a is equal to 0 but b not equal to 0 and c not equal to 0. Okay? And remember this y is equal to k is a line parallel to x axis. y is equal to k is a line parallel to x axis. Right? Coming to the third case, what is the third case? Here we observe two cases, they are when a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0, c is not equal to 0, obviously that line intersect x axis and y axis in two distinct points. And the second case is when a is 0, but b not equal to 0, c not equal to 0, then the line would be parallel to x axis. Now coming to the third case, what is the third case? That third case is going to be Suppose if the value of a is not 0, right? In third case, a is not 0, but b is equal to 0, and obviously c is not equal to 0. <coughs> okay? Then what will happen? a is not 0 means ax would be ax plus b is equal to 0, 0 into y is equal to 0, plus c is not equal to 0. So ax plus c is equal to 0 ax plus c is equal to 0, then ax is going to be negative c, then x is going to be negative c divided by a. Negative c by a is again a constant. Okay? It could be either positive constant or negative constant, does not matter. For example, k is equal to some 3. We are going to draw line x is equal to 3 on the graph sheet now. Okay? So, this is 0, this is 1 and it is 2 and it is 3 and it is 4, it is 1, it is 2, it is 3. See, x is equal to 3 like the previous thing. How to draw this line x is equal to 3? Means, whatever the value of y is, x is always 3 only. Suppose y is equal to 0, then also x is equal to 3. 
y is equal to 1 then also x is equal to 3 so therefore the points are 3 comma 0 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and so on so 3 comma 0 this is the point 3 comma 1 this is the point 3 comma 2 this is the point 3 comma 3 this is the point if you join all these points then you will get a straight line which is parallel to which axis parallel to y axis so here you can understand one thing that x is equal to any constant x is equal to k is a line parallel to y axis and moreover it is at how many units distance from y axis at 3 units distance from x axis uh, from y axis why is it 3 unit distance from y axis because the value of k is equal to 3 here so if you take a line x is equal to k what is the position of the line x is equal to k x is equal to k is a line parallel to y axis which is at k units distance from y axis either negative side or positive side doesn't matter okay that is about the position of the line a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 when a is not equal to 0 b is equal to 0 and c is not equal to 0 there is one more case what is that one more case see we discussed about what happens when coefficient of x is 0 and coefficient of y is also equal to 0 now coming to the uh, next case that coefficient of x not 0 and coefficient of y is also not 0 then constant is equal to 0 ok so in this case if a is not equal to 0 and b also not equal to 0 but c is equal to 0 then the line would be a x plus b y plus 0 is equal to 0 it means a x plus b y is going to be 0 if you draw this a x plus b y is equal to 0 means constant is not there a x plus b y is equal to 0 then the position of the line would be either like this or it would be like this because there is no constant and uh, a x plus b y is equal to 0 the only convenient point which satisfies a x plus b y is equal to 0 is a x is 0 b y is 0 then 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 means what x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 it means a x plus b y is equal to 0 definitely pass through origin ok so that if a line where x term is coefficient of x is not 0 and coefficient of y is also not 0 but constant is equal to 0 then the position of the line would be the line passes through origin please make a note of it because this is very very important in intermediate first year and second year we have a concept called straight lines or coordinate geometry or analytical geometry in that concept this is what the position of the line without actually drawing the line on the graph sheet we will have to estimate the position of the line so all these things will be useful for you to solve those things right ok so these are the positions of the lines on the graph sheet ok and <clears throat> till now we discussed about a single straight line means a single linear equation in two variables but from now onwards we will be discussing about a pair of linear equations in two variables because the name of our topic is a pair of linear equations ok a pair of linear equations in two variables <coughs> I am going to write that a pair of linear equations in two variables this is what the topic <coughs> that we are going to learn now pair of linear equations in two variables I know that the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 if it is a single linear equation but I have two li linear equations right so that I need to think about one more in the standard form like ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 some px plus qy plus r equal to 0 and all but for my convenience I am taking first linear equation is a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0 and second one is a 2 x plus b 2 y 
plus C2 is equal to 0. Okay? These two are the standard forms of pairs of linear equations in two variables. Now, I am going to examine whether those two lines, if I draw those two lines on the graph sheet simultaneously, then what is the position of those two lines on the graph sheet? Okay? Right. See here, if you are given a white paper and you are asked to draw two lines on the two lines on that white sheet, then how do you draw those two lines? Maybe the positions are like this. This is one of the lines and this is one of the lines. Obviously, we will start with these kind of lines. Okay, this is one pair of lines and the second pair of lines are maybe the pair of lines are like this. Okay, these are another pair of lines and if I ask to draw one more pair of line, then you will draw maybe like this. These are another pair of lines. If you once observe these three pairs of lines, what do you call this first pair of lines? Yes, you know that very well because both are meeting at one point so that they are said to be intersecting lines. Okay? And what do you call these two lines? Of course, these two lines are also called as intersecting, but we give some more information that they are looking like intersecting at right angle. But whereas the angle between them is right angle or non-right angle, then those two track those two lines are intersecting lines. Okay? If they intersect, then only there is an angle formed. Either it can be acute angle or obtuse angle, doesn't matter. And coming to third pair. This third pair of lines are never intersecting at any point. If two lines never intersect at any point, then what do you call those pair of lines? Yes, they are said to be parallel lines. So, if these two lines are parallel lines, I think uh, they never intersect at any point. Okay? See here, intersecting at a point, intersecting at a point, they are not intersecting. See, just think about in the perception of solutions of a linear equation, this linear equation has infinitely number of solutions. It means infinitely many number of points on that line. And this linear equation has also infinitely many number of points on that line. But if you once observe this line and this line are intersecting at a point. So, what do you call that point? Yes, you can call that point as point of intersection. But as per the number of solutions or as per the solutions in the context of solutions, this particular point, let this point be some P. Okay? That particular point lying on the line L as well as lying on the line M also. Correct? So, can we call this point P is the common solution for both the two lines? Because P is a point on the line L, so that you can call it as a solution for L. And P being a point on the line M, so that you can call that P as a solution of the line M also. So that P is the common solution for both the two lines L and M. Yes. Now, we are discussing the concept of the common solutions. Okay. Here in this case of intersecting lines, there is one common solution for both the two lines. The common intersecting point is said to be the common solution for both the two lines. Okay. So, here L and M are two lines, so that these two lines are two linear equations in two variables. And uh, P is only the common solution for both the two lines. So, that if two lines intersect at only one point, then they have how many number of common points, how many number of common solutions? There is only one common solution that is also called as unique common solution. So, if two lines intersect at one point, otherwise if two lines are intersecting lines, the total number of common solutions for those two lines is 1. That is what called unique common solution. Of course, here also this is only the unique common solution. right? Coming to this pair of parallel lines, since they never intersect at any point, that is why this line has its own solutions and this line has its own solutions. Since they are never intersecting at any point, therefore, there is no common solution for both of them. Therefore, if two lines are parallel lines, then is there any common solution for both of them? There is no common solution. Therefore, we can say that 
if two lines are parallel lines the number of common solutions for both the two lines is zero because there is no common solutions but i can identify one more pair of straight lines one more pair of straight lines are nothing but this is one straight line and this is one more straight line okay these two are two straight lines first straight line is l and second straight line is m but here we can understand one thing that since they are straight lines can be extended indefinitely in both the directions no then what is the difference between both the lines then i can give you one example natural number system indicated by n n is equal to set containing 1 2 3 and so on correct and whole number system which is equal to set containing 0 1 2 and so on these two are two number systems and moreover they are infinite numbers are available in natural numbers as well as whole numbers since infinitely many numbers are available in both the number systems can we call them as same number systems no we cannot like that l is one line as well as m is another line both are coinciding one another means one line lie on the other line so these kind of lines l and m one line lie on the other those kind of lines are said to be coincident lines what do you call them coincident lines what do you call these kind of lines these are said to be intersecting lines and what do you call these kind of lines they are said to be parallel lines what do you call these kind of lines they are said to be coincident lines okay so here we understand one thing that the number of common solutions in this case is only one in this case also only one and the number of common solutions in this case is zero then what about the total number of common solutions in this case since one line lie on the other and moreover line is the combination of infinitely many number of points therefore the common solutions for a pair of coincident lines is infinite so there are infinitely many number of common solutions are there for a pair of coincident lines okay so this is what when you draw a line and draw another line then after drawing both the lines on the graph sheet we can easily examine whether they are intersecting lines or parallel lines or coincident lines but if you are given two lines as linear equations in two variables then how do you figure out whether those two lines are either this kind or this kind or this kind let us try to understand now okay now first problem like first pair of linear equations are given as first pair of linear equations x plus y is equal to 7 2x plus y is equal to 10 these two are one pair of linear equations draw x plus y is equal to 7 on the graph sheet if you draw x plus y is equal to 7 on the graph sheet then the line would be like this this is 7 and this is also 7 okay the name of this line is x plus y is equal to 7 and second line is 2x plus y is equal to 10 2x plus y is equal to 10 line when you draw this uh, for example if i put x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 10 if i put x is equal to uh 3 then y is going to be 2 3 is are 6 right 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 so 0 comma 10 is one line 0 comma 10 is one point for example and second one is 3 comma 4 is the another point 3 comma 4 may be the another point uh, where is that another point may be here okay if you draw a line passing through these two points then the line would be like this okay this is the position of the line see here it means both the lines intersecting at one point so we can say that x plus y is equal to 7 2x plus y is equal to 10 are said to be a pair of intersecting lines okay so these are called intersecting lines fine now another pair of lines that i am taking another pair of lines are like 
x plus y is equal to 3, x plus y is equal to 2. These two are another pair of lines. I am going to draw this another pair of lines on the graph sheet again. Okay? When I draw them on the graph sheet, then this is y axis and this is x axis. x plus y is equal to 3. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. So, 0 comma 3 means x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. This is the point. And if I take y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. So, this is the point. Okay? This is 1 and this is 2. This is 1 and this is 2. So, the line would be this. This is the position of the line. The name of the line is x plus y is equal to 3. And sec second line x plus y is equal to 2. If I take x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. So, this is one point. If I take y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. This is one more. If you join those two points and extend in both the directions, the line would be like this. The name of the line is x plus y is equal to 2. What kind of lines both are? You can say that both the lines are parallel lines. So, these pair of lines are called parallel lines. Okay, these are parallel lines and coming to third pair of lines that I am taking here x plus y is equal to 2 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 4. So, these are another pair of lines. I am going to draw this another pair of lines on the graph sheet again. Okay, that is x axis and y axis. So, this is y axis and this is x axis okay? and this is origin obviously. x plus y is equal to 2. So, for example, this is 2 and this is also 2. This is 1 and this is 1. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. x equal to 0, y is equal to 2. This is the point. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So, this is the point. Again, joining these two points and drawing a line passing through those two points. Okay. Name of the line is x plus y is equal to 2. Okay. Now, going to draw one more line that is 2x plus 2y equal to 4. When x is equal to 0, two zeros are 0. 0 plus 2y is equal to 2y is equal to 4. When 2y is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 0, y equal to 2 means this is only the point. And second point is when y is equal to 0, 2x plus 0 is equal to 4, 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2. So, this is only one more line. It means this is the position of the line. right? See what kind of lines both are? One line lie on the other. Therefore, both the lines are coincident lines. So, this pair of lines are said to be coincident lines. Okay? Coincident lines. See, I figured out about this pair of lines or this pair of lines or this pair of lines after drawing those two lines on the graph sheet only, right? But without actually drawing those lines on the graph sheet, is it possible for me to figure out the position of the lines, either they are intersecting lines or parallel lines or coincident lines? Let us have a look on this. See here. These linear equations are in the standard form. What is the standard form of a pair of linear equations? a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0. I am going to compare these two equations and these two equations and these two equations with the standard form. So, what is that standard form? That is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. And after comparing the first pair of lines with them, I am going to find out the ratio between x terms, y terms as well as constants. Okay? Ratio between x terms that is a1 by a2. So, can you tell me what is a1 by a2 for this? This is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. So, if you transpose 7 towards left hand side, then it would be minus 7 equal to 0. So, a1 by a2, a1 means coefficient of x that is 1 divided by a2 is equal to coefficient, uh, a2 is equal to coefficient of x that is going to be 2 that is a1 by a2 and 
find out coefficients of y that is b1 by b2 b1 by b2 is equal to what is b1 here 1 into y is equal to y so that 1 divided by b2 again coefficient of y is equal to 1 here so b1 by b2 is equal to 1 and what is c1 by c2 c1 by c2 is equal to see if you want to compare both of them then c1 should be on the left hand side so this is plus 7 on right hand side when you transpose it towards left hand side it would be minus 7 so minus 7 divided by similarly here minus 10 these are the ratios between coefficient of x coefficient of y and constants if you observe all the ratios there is no ratio equal right means a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 all these three are unequal so we can say that by finding the ratio between coefficient of x coefficient of y and uh, constants we can say that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 of course it may be equal to c1 by c2 may not be equal to c1 by c2 does not matter but a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 easily you can say that both the lines are intersecting lines okay just to check whether the given lines are intersecting lines or not without actually drawing those two lines on the graph sheet just by finding the coefficient of x1 x divided by coefficient of x of the second equation and coefficient of y divided by coefficient of y of the second equation if they are not equal if the two ratios are not equal then easily you can say that those pair of lines are intersecting lines if you want we'll give one more example that 3x plus 2y is equal to 100 is one line and x minus 3y is equal to 1 is the another line to check whether these two lines are intersecting lines or not just to figure out what is a1 by a2 and what is b1 by b2 what is the value of a1 by a2 here a1 by a2 is equal to coefficient of x of the first equation that is 3 coefficient of x of the second equation that is 1 so 3 divided by 1 and similarly what is b1 by b2 b1 by b2 is equal to here b1 is 2 and b2 is equal to minus 3 2 divided by minus 3 and this is 3 are they equal they are not equal therefore this pair of lines are said to be intersecting lines okay so this is the simple logic to figure out whether they are intersecting lines or not without actually drawing the lines on the graph sheet yes so coming to the second pair of lines okay so here i am going to find out the value of again a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 okay so if i find the values of a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 here a1 by a2 is going to be coefficient of x of the first equation is 1 divided by a2 is equal to x is nothing but 1 so a1 by a2 equal to 1 and what is b1 by b2 b1 by b2 is equal to coefficient of y here 1 divided by here also 1 so a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 both are equal now let us go to c1 divided by c2 c1 is equal to plus 3 no it would be minus 3 divided by minus 2 minus 3 by minus 2 is equal to obviously 3 divided by 2 once you observe what is the relationship between the coefficients of ratios of the coefficients a1 by a2 is same as b1 by b2 but not same as c1 by c2 right so here we understand one thing that the pair of lines are said to be parallel lines the pair of lines are said to be parallel lines when a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 but not equal to c1 divided by c2 okay so if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then those pair of lines are said to be parallel lines okay coming to the third pair so in this third pair a1 by a2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 for this a1 by a2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 2 and what is b1 by b2 b1 by b2 is equal to again 1 divided by 2 only which is equal to 1 divided by 2 
and now coming to c1 by c2 what is c1 by c2 2 divided by 4 2 divided by 4 means 1 by 2 only no right so here a1 by a2 value b1 by b2 value c1 by c2 value all these three are same means if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 which is also equal to c1 by c2 therefore the lines are said to be coincident lines okay did you understand without actually drawing the lines on the graph sheet we can easily estimate the position of the lines on the graph sheet just by finding out the ratios of x terms y terms and the constants okay i will write them briefly now so once again have a look on this if the value of a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 here then the lines are said to be intersecting lines if the value of a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 also equal to c1 by c2 then the lines are said to be coincident lines if the value of a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then those lines are said to be parallel lines okay i will just put them in a table so that we can understand everything clearly about the positions of these three pairs of lines okay right so first of all the standard form of linear equations in two variables are a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0 and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0. So, these two are pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay. Coming to the first case, what is that first case? Intersecting lines. Okay. Intersecting lines. So, intersecting lines are the pair of lines are intersecting lines under which condition they are said to be intersecting lines just now we figured out that that is if the value of a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 okay and one of them one of the ratios can be equal to c1 by c2 that does not matter but a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then they are said to be intersecting lines. So, if the lines are intersecting lines, the lines may be like this. Okay? This is the point of intersection. And how many number of common points or common solutions are there for this kind of lines? There is only one that is said to be unique common solution. Okay? Unique common solution. Unique common solution is nothing but there is only one solution for a pair of intersecting lines. Okay? This is about intersecting lines and coming to the second pair of lines, they are coincident lines, coincident lines. So, when two lines are said to be coincident lines, yes, when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, which is also is equal to c1 by c2, then those two lines are said to be coincident lines. Coincident lines are nothing but one line lie on the other okay there are two lines one line lie on the other they are said to be coincident if two lines are coincident lines then how many number of common solutions are there there are infinitely many number of common solutions okay infinitely many common solutions and Coming to third pair of lines. What is third pair of lines? They are parallel lines. So, when two lines are said to be parallel lines, two lines are said to be parallel lines when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2. So, then those two lines are said to be parallel lines. So, the position of the lines may be like this because they never intersect at any point, right? So, these are parallel lines. If a pair of lines are parallel lines, then how many number of common solutions are there? The number of common solutions are 0. So, therefore, there is no common solution, okay? There is no common solution for this pair of linear equations, okay? And here we can understand one thing that in this intersecting lines there is one common solution that is called unique common solution 
and for coincident lines there are infinitely many number of common solutions but whereas for a pair of linear equations there is no common solution. So, in these two cases there is either one common solution or more than one common solution exist. Okay? So, if a pair of lines have one common solution or more than one common solution, one common solution or more than one common solution, then those kind of lines are said to be consistent linear equations, consistent linear equations. So, consistency means common solution exists. If common solution or common solutions exist, then those pair of lines are said to be consistent linear equations. Suppose, if there is no common solution exist, then they are said to be parallel lines. According to that, we can say these kind of lines are said to be inconsistent, inconsistent linear equations. So, consistent linear equations means common solution or common solutions exist. If common solution does not exist, then they are said to be inconsistent linear equations. So, more precisely, when the lines are, what kind of lines are consistent, either intersecting lines, otherwise coincident lines are said to be consistent linear equations. If they are parallel lines, then only they are said to be inconsistent linear equations. Because in our very second exercise, we need to check whether the given lines are consistent linear equations or not. So, consistency or inconsistency means what? If solution or solutions exist, then they are said to be consistent. If solution does not exist, then said to be inconsistent linear equations. Okay? So, briefly what we discussed in this class. So, we discussed about what is the standard form of a linear equation and how many number of solutions are there for a linear equation and how to represent a linear equation on the graph sheet means graphical representation of a linear equation. Okay? What is the relationship or similarity or equivalency between a point on the line and the solution of a linear equation? After that, we discussed about a pair of linear equations in two variables. When you draw a pair of linear equations in two variables on a graph sheet, what is the position of those pair of linear equations? Means they are either intersecting lines or parallel lines or coincident lines. If they are intersecting lines, then how many number of common solutions are there? If they are parallel lines, then how many number of common solutions are there? Or if they are coincident lines, similarly, how many number of common solutions are there? And if you want to notice or examine that the given lines are intersecting lines or parallel lines or coincident lines, is it necessary to draw those two lines on the graph sheet? Otherwise, we cannot examine. And Without actually drawing the lines on the graph sheet, we can easily examine what kind of lines they are just by identifying the ratios between x terms, y terms as well as constants. Okay? So, by using a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 and a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 as well as a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 we can say that those lines are intersecting coincident as well as parallel lines respectively. And uh, if two lines are either coincident lines otherwise intersecting lines, then a common solution or common solutions exist. Therefore, those kind of lines are said to be consistent linear equations. If common solution does not exist, then they are said to be inconsistent linear equations. Okay. So, I think this tabular form gives you a clear cut picture on consistency and inconsistency of a pair of linear equations. Hope you understand. Thank you.